Whoop. Hi everyone! Happy Saturday! It's me, Brennamania, coming to you live from somewhere in in Brooklyn. Somewhere. I need more coffee. Anyway, hi everyone! How are you doing? Happy Saturday! It's good to see you all. Hello to everyone who came in during the pre-roll. Uh, shoot, I think I need to scroll back up and see. Hi, Nama. Hello, I Smile. Hello, Dark Sonic. Happy Saturday to you. Hello, Serax. Hello, Baffling Bookworm. Hello, McCatnip. Happy Saturday to y'all. I'm glad you're all here. We are going to read some more Problem Sleuth today. Also, look at Vivi. Look at Vivi. I think I have Cat Cam on. Look at this buddy. He is just all curled up and nestled in his little kitty bed in the windowsill. Doesn't have a care in the world, but he is here to be adorable for all of you. Anyway, hope y'all are doing good. I hope everyone had a good week. I had a pretty good week myself. Pretty, pretty low key overall. I did get some stuff done at work, and yeah, nothing really <laughs> noteworthy to report outside of that boring update. I know, but. Um, sometimes it's good when life is actually a little boring, especially these days, <laughs> so. Anywho, uh, we are gonna read some problems with today. We are on chapter six. Uh, the plan today is to get through chapter six, seven, and eight by the end of stream. I actually looked up the table of contents of Problem Sleuth on like a wiki somewhere without actually like spoiling myself on anything. And I think, I think I've scoped out or like mapped out like when we're gonna get to the end of Problem Sleuth because I'm not anticipating like anything misleading from the page counts like you would have in Homestuck. Like for example, in Homestuck, you could get through maybe a hundred pages in an hour sometimes, and other times it takes like two hours to go through one page. <laughs> I don't think we encounter anything like that in Problem Sleuth, as far as I know. So I think I can pretty reliably map out uh, when we're gonna get to the end. I think we will get to the end of Problem Sleuth, like, early August. Um, I think that's how it's paced out. I think we'll be able to get, like, three chapters per stream done. And then once we finish Problem Sleuth, we're gonna go do Hive Swap Friends Sim next after this, so that'll be starting in August sometime. And then, I think, based on- I, I did some Hive Swap Friends Sim previously. Sorry everyone, I'm just kinda- for some reason I just kinda launched into like a thinking out loud about the future stream schedule. And I'm just gonna finish what I was thinking. So I think we'll be able to get through Hive Swap Friends Sim like by October- sometime in October? Like at the very latest late October, so that's when we'll start Pester Quest sometime in October. So just looking ahead. Look ahead in the months to come so y'all know what to look forward to. But anyway, as far as today, we are reading Problem Sleuth chapter 6, 7, and 8. Uh, so last time... Oh, hi, Tree Sprite! Hussy's map of Problem Sleuth's office. Oh, nice. <laughs> You've removed the stuff that we haven't seen yet? Oh, wow. Did you, like... create a version of the map of the office just based on what we've seen so far? Is that what that is? I'm not gonna click on it because I don't want to like click on something that might spoil anything accidentally, but if you've removed the stuff that we haven't seen yet, that sounds really cool. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, it's safe from spoilers unless you've made a mistake. All right, well, I'll let other folks confirm that before I take a peek at it, but I imagine it's probably pretty complex. <laughs> so anyway, uh, last time, just trying to remember to recap what we did last time. So I know that last time Problem Sleuth and Ace Dick and Pickle Inspector like all kind of banded together and took down some monsters. Some more imaginary lives were lost. Uh, and then on the actual physical plane, uh, as we can see here in this panel, Problem Sleuth and Pickle Inspector managed to work their way, teamwork their way to get together, and Ace Dick actually got out of his office and is in the hallway, and found the door that leads to the exit of the building, but requires the Megaton Key to unlock. And then he also flooded the hallway, because things were on fire. Things and corpses were on fire, so... Anywho. Alright, so it is spoiler-free. Okay, let me... Let me open this real quick. My end. Let me actually pull it over to our tab here. So let's see. So that's. So this is helpful. 
So yes, yeah, so we got so we got Ace Dick's office, Problem Suit's office, PI's office. Um and there's the exit door. Yeah, we got AD's hideout, we got the still room, problem suit hideout, the jazz room, I remember that. And then Oh yeah, and here is here is the oboe that caused both doors to be locked, and this goes up into the speakeasy. Um and then Pickle Inspector had access to the elf room, and you go up the chimney into the speakeasy, and that's how you get there. And this room right here is where I believe Pickle Inspector and Problem Sleuth currently are, so that's awesome. Oh, thanks, Baffling Bookworm. Yeah, the gold the Golden Ridge was uh That was it was a lot of fun, but like that wind was hard. And um if you saw that stream the other day, I kind of went on like a little rant about the wind at one point and I like cursed the wind and I was like I hope that you always have wet socks and then like the wind immediately took its revenge on me so never insult the wind is the takeaway from that stream today so um all right hey spicy pickle no it's okay you're not late we're just kind of starting I'm just doing like my usual ramble for 15 minutes about anything other than actually reading what I'm going to read so there's that hi Egwene Happy, happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to everyone who's here. If you came in and said hello and I missed you, uh, please know that I meant to say hello to you too. I don't, I try not to miss anyone who comes in, uh, but I am not perfect. So, anywho, let's go on with chapter six of Problem Sleuth. P.S. P.I. Go in. There's a large door guarded by two surly thugs. The door is locked. It looks like it will require more weird puzzle shit to open it. There are three skull-shaped grooves on the wall. It's three skull-shaped grooves. Oh, you know what? We already have one person's skull. I forget I forget whose skull we have already, but I remember last time that a skull got thrown down the chimney. So I wonder if the skull puzzle is going to require the skulls from the imagination corpses, for lack of a better term, of Ace Dick and Problem Sleuth and Pickle Inspector. Also, I think there's a there's just a straight up, completely dead Pickle Inspector lying around somewhere. So, anyway, puzzle shit. I love puzzle shit. All right, uh, let's see. There are three skull shaped grooves on the wall. Problem Sleuth. Carve surprised face and pumpkin and put it in sad recess. Or, no, wait, that's stupid. Well, clearly, let's do this first one. Carve surprised face and pumpkin and put it in sad recess. <laughs> Wrong adventure, dumbass. Oh, wait, is this... Is this a reference to a different... Different one? Oh, this is from Jailbreak. Okay. Got it. I may have to read Jailbreak someday. If anyone, like... <laughs> Who cares about that? Um, all right. Anyway, go back. Oh, hold on. I need to... Ah, no! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I accidentally maximized that window for a sec. <laughs> Completely biffing the stream layout. Um, all right. No, wait. That's stupid. Can I, Egwene? I was actually wondering about that. I was thinking earlier today about, like, could I possibly read the earlier MSPAs? in one stream, because I know they're considerably shorter, so. All right. No, wait, that's stupid. The thugs are advancing menacingly. It seems the sway of your charisma has worn off. Oh no, not the sway of our charisma wearing off. Oh no. Oh, and Bard Quest, that's right, yeah. Well, those might be good for like some one-off streams here or there. All right, P.I., retrieve skull from elf hideout. You obtained the ace dick skull. Yes, that was that was one of the skulls I was thinking of just a moment ago. All right, P.S., battle menu. Actually, before I before I click over, I just want to like check out all the stuff we have in this panel, just to refresh my memory. So we've got like Tootsie Rolls in inventory. I forget what this thing is, but I'm sure <laughs> it'll come up later. And then we have the ace dick skull. We've got we got Elf Tears, we got, that was the candy corn liquor, got the handgun, 
the bullets. I think this poster is the Weasel King. It says the enemy on top of it. So I feel like the story is trying to tell us that the Weasel King is somebody's enemy. And then we got these elves just sitting here playing poker. All right, battle menu. So let's see. Ref reviewing the battle menu here, we got like an insulin level gauge. Uh, his animal communion is really high. Uh, Problem Sooth can commune with, among other things, weasels. We know that from last time. Uh, half of his elf tier slots are filled, so that's fabulous. Yep, so many elven tiers. That is true. Uh, let's see. So we, we got aggress, we got battle, we got technique, combat operandi, battle technique, combat operandi, persuade, mollify, abscond. So it looks like this is our battle technique menu right here. So we have Sleuth Diplomacy, Compromise, Pax, Summon Henry Clay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Summon Henry Clay level two and Unconditional Surrender. Henry uh, Henry Clay was what political figure from history? He was a, see, Google says a former American senator, was an American attorney and statesman who represented Kentucky in both the Senate and the House. He was the seventh House Speaker and the ninth Secretary of State. Okay, Secretary of State. That's that's the cabinet position I was trying to remember. Like Henry Clay was something. He was he was formerly Secretary of State. So that kind of fits in with like the whole diplomacy shtick here. Um, and then unconditional surrender. <laughs> oh my goodness! You comb through your list of battle techniques for a peaceful diplomatic solution to the conflict. <laughs> yep, random as always, problem sleuth. Like, out of all the secretaries of state you could pick, you picked Henry Clay. Alright. Sleuth diplomacy! Battle technique! You expend one elf tier! Oh, that's right, these battle techniques caused elf tears. Next, you acquaint the surly thugs with your brand of diplomacy, <laughs> which is to shoot them repeatedly. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wow. Pickle Inspector returns with the skull. Oh no, Pickle Inspector is crying. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Such diplomacy. I was not expecting that brand of diplomacy to happen. <laughs> Uh, let's see. We've come to an understanding in our negotiations. I negotiate with bullets. P.I. Insert skull in groove. You place the ace dick skull in the middle slot. Very good. A.D. Go grab pickle inspector's skull. Ah, that's right. You retrieve your ally's skull and drop it through the skylight. That's right, because we did have a... Like I said earlier, we did have a dead pickle inspector available for, uh, for skull salvaging retrieval. I don't know. Anyway, AD, use trombone to breath underwater. I think they meant to say breathe, but there's an E missing there. You prepare to use the instrument as an oversized snorkel. But, as should have been obvious to you, the room is no longer filled with water. Ah, that's right, because we... We, uh, opened the door last time. So, wait, so since... Since, uh, since Ace Dick has access to Pickle Inspector's office, doesn't that mean Ace Dick could also... Shouldn't Ace Dick be able to get into, like, the elf poker room? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I should stop thinking about it. Or start thinking more about it. I don't know. Should I underthink? Should I overthink? Let me overthink about whether or not I should overthink. <laughs> anyway, P.S. Summon Weasel King. Can we do that? Combat operandi. You have absolutely no idea how to solve this stupid puzzle and open the doors. As a last ditch effort, you think it's finally time to summon his majesty. You expend three elf tears. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they put the parenthesis S after the word tears when the plural is already being used. <laughs> oh, grammar. You fascinate me. Next. You had enough elf tears, but unfortunately, in order to summon the Weasel King, you will need some weasel snot. Of course you need weasel snot. Like, why wouldn't you need weasel snot? The Weasel Emissary appears instead. 
You use your strong sense of animal communion to commune with the emissary. He communes back, communing concern over whether he can trust you. P.S. Allegiance Menu! <laughs> Toggle Analog Stick. You must make a choice. To which group does your allegiance belong? Do we have to choose between pledging allegiance to weasels or elves? I feel like this choice will have dire consequences. Also, this track sounds very earthboundy. The track we're currently listening to from, from Lumi. Being jukebox is hard. Thanks, Egwene. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So we can press all the shoulder buttons and st <laughs> press all the shoulder buttons and start select, or we can align thyself with the elves. Let's see. Let's press all the shoulder buttons and start and select. <laughs> Problem sleuth. Press start. <laughs> Good. That's how you classically reset a game. Let's press start. <laughs> oh well, I guess we're back at the beginning, everyone. So let's, let's since we reset the game, let's just go ahead and start from page one. You are one of the top problem sleuths in the city. Solicitations for your service are numerous in quantity. Compensation, adequate. It is a balmy summer evening. You are feeling particularly hard-boiled tonight. What will you do? Quickly retrieve arms from safe. No, I'm just kidding. Let's, 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 let's go back. <laughs> hey, Borean, happy Saturday. Good to see you. All right, align thyself with the elves. <laughs> the emissary flips the fuck out. Oh no. <laughs> well, we did choose to align ourselves with the elves like right in front of the weasel. So, so I guess I can't really blame a friend for flipping the F out. Use mollify to calm down the emissary. <laughs> Oh my god. Pickle Inspector politely suggests that he be allowed to try something first before such extreme measures are taken. <laughs> oh my gosh. So all of so all of Problem Sleuth's diplomacy diplomacy techniques are not really diplomacy. Does summoning Henry Clay just summon Henry Clay with a gun? Does Henry Clay like do diplomacy with guns too? Is that what's going to happen eventually? I ask questions that I don't really necessarily want to know answers to. <laughs> All right. Yep, that's right, Vivi is on pet cam. For those of you who may not have noticed, we have pet cam on right now, and Vivi is sleeping in his bed in the window. Hi, buddy. All right, I'm gonna stick my hand in your face. I'm gonna boop your nose. <laughs> The capital rises. All right, P.I. Ogle the emissary disconcertingly to calm him down. <laughs> the emissary's hysterical state appears to subside. <laughs> oh my gosh, that really is a disconcerting ogle. But it did work. The emissary did calm down. A.D. Go through door's window and throw the switch. You enter the small room and throw the switch. Oh right, the switch that the elf that was in there was guarding earlier, but the elf drowned, sadly. So anyway, you enter the small ah. You enter the small room and throw the switch. The room starts to travel upward like an elevator. P.S. Okay, fine. Align thyself with the weasels. The emissary appears pleased. All right, so. So with our combined teamwork, we managed to call the emissary and change our alignment. It's nice to know that Problem Sleuth can just change his alignment like really easily like that. So I imagine later on we'll have to switch our alignment back to the elves at some point. Uh, let's see, next. He explains that his people face a critical impasse. They require your help. He asks if you can spare exactly one hero <laughs> from your ranks to help them with their plight. It is imperative that this chosen one have an unusually high height characteristic for reasons that remain mysterious. 
Let's see. Height requirement. Who is that going to be? Maybe... Maybe some sort of... Inspector. Who... Can get the weasels out of their... Pickle. But where will I find such a man? <laughs> P.S. Appoint P.I. as chosen savior of the weasels. <laughs> The emissary thanks you. He and Pickle Inspector disappear into the portal. <laughs> Wait, Naomi, you got a surprise call from your dad saying as he has a gift for your cat? <laughs> That's fabulous. I don't have any gifts for my cats, but they lead pretty good lives. Aw, Vivi's taking a little bath there and going back to sleep. All right, next. Let's see. Ace Dick arrives at the elevator's destination floor. It appears to be some sort of control room. Oh, this is a new room, it looks like. So, got like some sort of like machine thingy here. We've got like a map in the background here. So, you know, there was a map like this in the elf room where the elves are playing poker as well. So I wonder if there's a connection there and there's like a hatch on the floor and God knows what this thing is, I can't really tell. Uh, let's see. There is an array of monitor displays, as well as a code machine sitting on the table. Ah, a code machine. Well, that clarifies it. Yo, oh, hi, Internet Insomnia. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. I could easily get away with just doing a cat stream. I suppose that's true. Yeah, like... Yeah, Vivi actually just laid in that cat bed all afternoon yesterday, so I feel like I could, like, legit just set up a camera, point it at Vivi, and just, like, let it run all afternoon, and people could just come by and just look at the cat. Just look at the kitty for an indeterminate amount of time, because I can't really control what Vivi does with his life. But I can give him plenty of places to nap. AD, examine the map on the wall. Oh, and I was just curious about the map on the wall, too. So, four nations at war. You wonder who the warring parties are and why they can't just get along. <laughs> like, can't we just give peace a chance? Maybe they get. Maybe they did try to give peace a chance, but it was Problem Sooth's brand of peace. That that is that is problematic. <laughs> oh, you're new in the app. Well, thank, well, I'm glad you're here, Internet Insomnia. <coughs> hmm, excuse me. I just. Swallowed some saliva down the wrong pipe. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Oh no, Spicy Pickle is sacrificing a Nepeta to save the mare. <laughs> so many dear sweet Nepetas. Oh, yes, I need to hydrate. Thank you. Thank you, McCatnip. Ugh. Leave that lid off. That lid makes weird squeaky noises. Ah. Good. I have had had coffee this morning, but I have not had enough water. Alright, AD, check out the monitors. Ooh! So, is this... This looks like each person's office, it seems. It looks like some rooms are under surveillance. So yeah, so this is, uh... This is Ace... I think this is Ace Dick's office? Yeah, because, like, those are the bust pedestals there. And that's the charred corpse remains of the imaginary pickle inspector. Oh, and yeah, this is Problem Sooth's office because we got the phone, we got like the tape machine, and uh, this would be pickle inspector's office because we still got like the water and the trombone. So yeah, this is everyone's offices. <laughs> nice spicy pickle. I see what you're doing there. AD, check behind the door. Door is blocked from the other side. It can only open part of the way into a very dark room. It bumps up against something totally immovable. Excuse me, totally immovable. Wait, hold on a second. Isn't that the way we came to get into this room in the first place? Yeah, what's what's the deal, Yo-Yo, with, with the door being like that? It's like, we came in from that door. But now... Why are we trying to, like, push the door? The, other, the door shouldn't even be swinging that way. 
What the hell, Problem Sleuth? <laughs> what are you doing? Why do you keep breaking reality and continuity? I don't understand. Yep, shenanigans. Probably shenanigans. <laughs> anyway, so the door is blocked from the other side. It can only open part of the way into a very dark room. It bumps up against something totally immovable. AD, open hatch and floor. The hatch, shockingly, is locked. I am shocked that it is locked. Schlocked? I don't know. Next. Ah, so we're turning around to face the other side of the room, and there is, like, some manner of Rube Goldberg trickery happening here. This looks like this is a poster of, like, either a clarinet or an oboe, or perhaps some other reed instrument, and... Is this, like, a bird in a... I haven't read the text yet, so I imagine this might answer it, but, like... There's, like, a bird in a cage over, like, a vat of something, and... There's like a mach some kind of machine here. Oh, this this looks like a picture of a rotary phone dial, and then a pumpkin. I mean, what pumpkin? And then a Sudoku puzzle on the wall. Hmm. There appears to be a convoluted puzzle on the opposite wall. Perhaps it will open the hatch. You are pretty dull and not very creative, though. You have no idea how to solve it. Well, of course. <laughs> Naturally. Naturally. That was a free hydrate. I just took a drink of water out of habit. All right, let's see. PI, tower over weasels in brazen display of height attribute. Yes, yes, none stand taller than you in this realm. You are a giant among men. By men, we mean weasels. Although really, what is the difference? Hi everyone, next. <laughs> There are no weasels around to be impressed, however. You stand amidst a field of salted melons. Ah, so it's not the weasels are men, it's the salted melons are men. But really, what's the difference? Can't spell melons without men. <laughs> Hi, Serious Eek. What is a man but a miserable pile of weasels? But enough talk. Become Pickle Inspector. <laughs> Oh my. I've never played Symphony of the Night. I need to play that sometime. Or really any Castlevania game, actually. <laughs> I have never played a Castlevania game. Maybe one of these days. Hey, re, -re Recursive, happy Saturday. This pumpkins have been a staple of MSPA from the very beginning. Nice. Nice. Da 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 da. Alright, PS, go down and see what the L's are up to. Oh, it's already night where you are, Insomnia? That's totally reasonable if you need to take off then. Like, do not deprive yourself of sleep on my account. <laughs> I ask that of nobody. Yeah, actually, you know, serious sake, I have heard that Symphony of the Night is widely considered, like, the best in the series. So, I may need to, like, check that out at some point. All right. Go down and see what the elves are up to. Oh, hell, you forgot to switch your allegiance. The elves are quite agitated. Whoops, change your allegiance. Didn't I just said a moment ago that this was going to happen. Unsurprisingly. Change allegiance to calm elves. The elves are pacified by your gesture of goodwill. Ropo, their leader, briefs you on a critical mission. You exhibit signs of being the chosen hero for this mission, of which, of which has long been prophesied by elven lore. Ah, yes. Elven lore. The best kind of lore that is related to elves. <laughs> yeah, I, I like it too, Egwene. Like, <laughs> I, I'm wondering if this allegiance thing is going to be like a recurring joke throughout. Like, walk into a room full of weasels, but you're aligned with elves. It makes me, it's like, oh, you know what? Actually, I was just about to ask out loud, like, why are weasels and elves considered, like, enemies of each other in this instance? But I, I was like, there is nothing to suggest that they would be enemies with each other. But actually, there is. There is that poster in this room where they have what I assume is the Weasel King, or just a weasel. And it's and in, like it has the word enemy on it. So, they, so... The storyline had actually already established that weasels and elves were enemies of each other. They just did it subtly. 
<laughs> and I didn't really notice that. Yes. Anyway, what was I doing? B.I., look around. There appears to be some commotion by the tree in the distance. Ah, I see a couple of weasels down there. And something up on this branch, it looks like. Let's check it out. Some weasels congregate beneath a, beneath a nest of elf eggs. They yearn for the succulent yolk. Hold on. Elf eggs? Do... Do elves in... in... Problem Sleuth... Hatch? Is that how they reproduce? They lay eggs? Instead of... Instead of, like... The way mammals do it? Are elves birds? <laughs> what? God, this broke my brain. <laughs> okay, let's carry on. If only they had a savior of height to help them. <laughs> well, no wonder elves and no wonder elves don't like weasels. Like weasels eat their eggs. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, elves are like platypus. Ah, yes, the platypus. That's right. I forgot about I forgot about the platypus. <laughs> elves are descended from dinosaurs, obviously. <laughs> Elves are birds or reptiles. My goodness. All right, P.S. Accept mission. The elves are grateful for your bravery. Ropo instructs you to first leave behind all of your material possessions. You cannot be burdened by such things on this quest of the spirit. You dump everything from your inventory into the skylight, including your hammer, elf tears, business cards, and game code sheet. You drop your Tommy gun on the floor. You leave your candy corn where it is, though. Yes. We cannot, at any point, for any reason, abandon the candy corn, because that is the most important thing. Next. Ropo lifts the table to reveal a hidden hatch. Ooh, another hatch. This is becoming more and more like Lost by the minute. <laughs> Thanks for capturing that quote, Spicy Pickle. Uh, how many times am I going to say this broke my brain reading this thing before we get to the end? Enter hatch. Oh no! We're falling to our death, surely. P.I. Eat eggs. They look delicious, but you just can't do it. It would just be so impolite. <laughs> I think he does like a little tentative nibble on the eggshell. Alright, give weasels elf eggs. Your valor is lauded robustly. B.S. Fall in a more hard-boiled manner. <laughs> you know what? Here's actually, here's actually what I'm wondering before we continue. So, Pickle Inspector is doing something for the weasels. Problem Sleuth is going to be doing something on behalf of the elves. I'm kind of wondering if Pickle Inspector and Problem Sleuth are going to have to engage in conflict with each other. Hmm, indeed. Yes. <laughs> yeah, oh, hard-boiled. Eggs. Got the egg motif going on. Fall in a more hard-boiled manner. This is how a real man falls. A man's man. You better secure your hat to safeguard the candy corn. Ah, yes. Cannot lose the candy corn. AD, go down to Skylight and get game code. You acquire the game code. While you're at it, you grab the Flask of Elf Tears. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so A-Stick was able to grab all the stuff that Problem Sleuth left behind. Well, some of the stuff, anyway. You decide to bring your window with you, so you won't have to go up and down every time some goofball somewhere drops another cool item through the skylight. You strap the generator to your back. Next. You prop the window up vertically against the wall. P.S. Quit falling and land already. <laughs> You land. There is a small cottage. Of course there's a small cottage. Why wouldn't there be? So, I like how the what started as like a room escape has now become like two of our characters have been like transported to like different 
physical areas, like some sort of like trans-dimensional shenanigans going on. Anyway, yes, whose hands are that? Cal's? <laughs> Who's to say? <laughs> a pair of funny-looking hands places a pie on the windowsill to cool. You recall the critical mission detailed in your briefing. You must abscond with the pie. Oh dear, <laughs> we have to abscond with the pie. That sounds dangerous. P.S. Politely ask the pair of hands for the pie. What is this image here? You contemplate the civil approach, but you just can't do it. It's too risky. Of course, the person who is a, who has a bunch of diplomatic skills associated with him cannot take the civil approach. It's too risky. Besides, you don't have enough manor sight shards in your etiquette monstrance for a polite request. When did this become a thing? Manor sight shards? Etiquette monstrance? So, so that explains what this is, but like... I don't remember seeing this before. They're just making up shit as we go along. I guess, I mean, that's that's all of Andrew Hussey's work, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why I'm acting surprised. <laughs> yeah, running low on manor sight shards is such a bummer. <laughs> Your mom told you to stop watching English streams, little dragon Kana? Like, that's odd. I like talking in English, but that's also what I grew up with, so it's not like I have much choice. <laughs> Alright. Anyway. Next. The cottage dwellers appear to be preoccupied. Now is your chance! <laughs> oh my gosh, so they look like little clowns, and like, I jokingly said like, oh, it's Cal's hands, and like, clowns are like a step or two away from Muppets, so I was on the right track. <laughs> I gotta stream in Spanish now. Oh man, I gotta like relearn Spanish. Hola, me llamo Brenamania. No hablo español. Eh, hablo un poco español. Muy, muy poco. <laughs> Learn Russian. Ah, yes. I could probably pronounce Russian at least. So I used to be a I used to be a music theory major when I was an undergrad, like a couple of decades ago. <laughs> and uh, voice was my instrument that I got into music school on. And my freshman year, I had to take diction classes in different languages. So I had to like take classes on like Italian diction and German diction and French diction. So I didn't actually learn like. Italian language or German language or French language. What I did learn was how to pronounce Italian and German and French words. And I would have I would have like these pieces of music with the lyrics written in those different languages and part of my assignment was would be to like transcribe the lyrics using the international phonetic alphabet. So like I write out how the words are pronounced. Like that was part of my homework. It was actually really fun. Like writing in the international phonetic alphabet is like writing in like some secret alien language. It's really cool. My favorite symbol is the schwa. <laughs> yep. I can pronounce Russian. I, I I'm trying to remember. I've I've sung some choir pieces in Russian before. I'm trying to remember like one of them. I don't remember the composer. But the lyrics were something like Bogoro Dice Dievo. That was the title of it. I don't remember any more lyrics. Anyway. <laughs> uh, anyway, the cottage dwellers appear to be preoccupied. Now is your chance. Abscond with the pie. I can't pronounce Russian. Oh no. <laughs> it's also been a long time since I... Since I... Did that too. <laughs> you haul ass through the woods. The clowns are hot on your trail. <laughs> I take no offense to that, a catnip, because I'm Russian is not my native language, <laughs> so I'm sure I'm butchering it. All right, AD go through window or AD open control panel. Let's try going through the window first. You walk through the vertical window. 
Okay, hold on. But what if we go through the op what if we open the control panel? Okay, so that's a few pages further than going through the window. So let's do this thread first. AD, you walk through the vertical window. Next. Oh no, you fall. <laughs> oh dear. You land on the side of the enormous beast. It appears the beast has defecated problems to its imaginary remains, including his skull. Suddenly, you hear some music from the storefront window begin to play. Next. The beast disappears, you fall to your death. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's right, because the storefront causes the light to happen, and when the light happens, the beast disappears, so... Alright, well, let's go back. Okay. AD, open control panel. You find a parachute inside. You take it. Ah, that would have been nice to have previously. B.I., politely accept a reward for your heroics. The Weasel Emissary comes to grant you a boon! By tapping the raw energy locked within your ample manor site shards, you politely accept. The Pickle Inspector has, like, all but two of the manor site shards that Problem Sooth has. Wait, I actually wonder if... Are these, like, the only manor, manor site shards in existence? Because... Pickle Inspector has six of the eight. Problem Sleuth has the other two, so I'm actually wondering if, like, those are the only eight Manor Sight shards in existence, and the only way to, like, completely fill the thing is to, like, give your Manor Sight shards to somebody else. I'm just wondering aloud. But, yes, Pickle Inspector is very polite. He's a polite boy. Alright. Uh, the Emissary guides you to the Spider Hole of Disquisition. You are to embark upon a journey of the spirit. Wait, so we just did we just did a quest for the weasels, and now on top of that we're doing a journey of the spirit? Just like Problem Sleuth is doing a journey of the spirit? How many journeys of the spirit are we going to be doing today? Alright, <clears throat> enter spider hole. Oh no, we're falling again! P.S. Drop one candy corn to distract your pursuers. Wow. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, there's no way Problem Sleuth is just going to willy-nilly get rid of candy corn. No way! You simply cannot spare it. I am really hoping that Problem Sleuth's insistence on holding on to the candy corn and not using it comes into play, like, at the very end, where he comes into a situation where it's like, Okay, you need all this candy corn, and then it's gonna be like, it's a good thing you held on to all this candy corn. Thank you for the hydration. <laughs> I appreciate that. Alright. No way, you simply cannot spare it. Next. The Elf Exemplar offers you sanctuary from the cruel rogues. Oh. Very nice, uh... Deus Elf Machina there <laughs> happening. Next. Half German and half English. That's cool, Sirax. The Exemplar thanks you for your heroism. He accepts the pie and grants you one boon. You are allowed to embark upon a quest of the spirit. He disappears, leaving you alone in this room with no exit. The only object in the room is a magic wardrobe. Wait. Oh! So in order to go on the quest of the spirit, we had to get the pie. Kinda like how Pickle Inspector had to get the eggs before he was able to go on the quest of the spirit. Okay. For some reason I thought getting the pie was Problem Sooth's quest of the spirit. I was mistaken. Alright, anyway, yes, we are even more room stuck than ever before. <clears throat> so we're in a mostly empty room only with a magic wardrobe. P.I., fall in a sillier manner. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is certainly a sillier manner. Bump, 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 bump. Alright, P.S., open wardrobe. You wonder what magical realm this portal will lead you into. There is only one way to find out. P.S. Enter wardrobe. 
You crash against the back of the wardrobe, which is rock solid. You fall <laughs> unconscious. <laughs> Wait a second. Where did that portal go? There was like clearly something that at least that looked like a portal there, but nope, it disappeared. Once again, the rug is pulled out from under us. Things are not as they appear. <laughs> Wait, what? Is this- this is the woman we saw earlier. Briefly on the phone, like a couple chapters ago. So Problem Sooth got knocked unconscious in this room and is waking up in the body of this woman? Huh. Yes, transgender. I- I am really- Hoping that this does not end up being a transphobic thing. <laughs> I am approaching the rest pro approaching the next few pages with like some trepidation here. Alright. So that was the end of chapter six. We are on chapter seven now. Um Alright. Well this yeah, this certainly took a turn now, didn't it? Alright. So uh, we're gonna start chapter seven in a sec here. I'm actually gonna get up real quick and go use the restroom. Uh, this is a good, good little breaking point. So if you all need to get up and stretch and uh, do something for yourself, I'll give you a moment here, and then we will continue on with more problems, Sooth, in a second. So be right back. <laughs> 